In this video, we review finding the nth term of a sequence in the form a n squared plus b n plus c. Now, this is a quadratic sequence, hence the n squared term, for the following reason. Now, when you've got a sequence, the first skill is to always find the common difference. Now, 12 take away 2 is 10, 28 take away 12 is 16, and 50 take away 28 is 22. Now, when it's a linear sequence, these are always the same number. But in an n squared or quadratic sequence, if we then do the second difference, 16 take away 10 is 6, and 22 take away 16 is 6, the second difference is constant, in this case 6. Now then, this gives us almost straight away the value of a. But to find a, we have to do the second difference and then halve it. So 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So a equals 3. So we now know that part of the sequence is given by 3n squared. Now to find b and c, we then go through a certain procedure. And the first bit is to find out what 3n squared is. Now we know that n squared is just a sequence 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. I'll do four terms because there were four terms in the original sequence. So this means that 3n squared is 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 9s are 27, and 3 16s are 48. So part of this sequence is 3n squared, given by the numbers 3, 12, 27, 48. So to find what b and c are, I remove or I take away 3n squared from the original sequence and see what's left over. So the sequence we had originally was 2, 12, 28, and 50. If I remove the 3n squared bit, so I remove 3, 12, 27, and 48, remove mass means to subtract, then I'm left with the sequence. 2 take away 3 is minus 1, 12 take 12 is 0, 28 take 27 is 1, and 50 take away 48 is 2. So I did the original take away. 3n squared in this case. So if I can then find the nth term for this left over sequence, the left over bit has got to be the b and the c. So again, a new sequence. To find the nth term, I do the first difference to begin with. So this goes up by 1, then 1, and then 1. So in this case, the first difference is constant. But to find the nth term of a linear sequence, the first difference is just b. So b is 1, which means that this sequence is of the form 1n. However, for the first term, 1 times 1 is 1, it's not minus 1. So to get from 1 down to minus 1, I've got to take away 2. To show this works, the second term, 1 times 2 is 2, take away 2 is 0. For the third term, 1 times 3 is 1, take away 2 is 1. So this sequence generates the linear part of the sequence. So in this term, in this case, a is 3, b is 1, and c is negative 2. And that sequence has the equation 3n squared plus 1n take away 2. 